Hello, you wonderful 100 plus women who care. I'm Katherine Richardson with Cheshire Medical Center. And I'm Jenny Alexander, also with Cheshire Medical Center and a breast cancer survivor and very grateful patient. Before we start with our presentation today, I just want to say how thankful we are to have this opportunity to present to you. I know you've done a lot of great work in the region and we appreciate that. First, I'd like to give you a little bit of history about Cheshire Medical Center. We were founded 130 years ago by community members like yourself who came together to make sure that all residents in the area had access to health care regardless of their ability to pay. So we are a nonprofit hospital and that holds true today. Another little bit of history that you should be aware of is our finances. Before COVID, we had a small positive operating margin, which is a challenge in itself because of the high cost of care today, and also the very low reimbursements for Medicare and Medicaid patients. We have some of the lowest in the country here in New Hampshire. When COVID hit, we had to create a new ICU in addition to our current one in order to care for all the patients that we had. We also had to shut down or limit quite a few operations throughout the hospital, for instance, surgeries other than emergency ones. And all of this added to uh, a big impact on our bottom line. For the past two fiscal years, we've lost over $14 million and we are set to lose more money this year. The federal government did not reimburse us or help us out this calendar year. For COVID, they stopped that in 2021. So we'd like to ask for your help. We're going to the community to ask for help with funding a new 3D technology for mammograms. We perform over 7,000 mammograms per year and all the towns that you represent are represented as some of our patients for those mammograms. A statistic that I was surprised to hear was that New Hampshire has one of the highest rates of breast cancer in the country and one in eight people will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. With that, I'd like to turn it over to Jenny to share a little bit of her story. Thanks, Catherine. So I come from a family with a long line, um, a long history of breast cancer. My mom was diagnosed when she was in her early 50s, so I started getting annual mammograms when I was 35. Um, when I was 42, um, my annual exam unfortunately did show that I had breast cancer. I had surgery and treatments right here in Cheshire County at Cheshire Medical Center, and I was so glad that I was able to get that care really close to home. Um, with the new 3D mammography machine, I am so excited about this machine for our community. Um, currently, the machine that we have uh, will take an image of the front of a woman's breast and the back, but with this new technology, it's going to be more like a book where um, each page or slice of the image will, um, the radiologist will be able to see in fine detail the different areas of a woman's breast. So they're going to be able to have a lot, early, a lot more early detection of breast cancer, which is really crucial for um, recovery from breast cancer. This new machine is also going to give a lot less false positives. If you've ever had a mammogram, you know that time from when you have the mammogram until you hear the results can be really stressful. For a woman who then gets a false positive, it gets even more stressful because they then usually have to get an MRI or they have to do a biopsy. Um, and you're just going a lot more time when you're really stressed out wondering if you do have breast cancer or not. So this new machine is gonna really cut down on those false, false positives, which is gonna be really great. And last but not least, this machine is also going to be a lot more comfortable for women. If you've ever had a mammogram, you know that it is not a very comfortable procedure, um, really, really uncomfortable. And this new machine is going to make it a lot more pleasant for our patients to get that annual care. So I hope that when you go to vote tonight, you think about someone in your life who may have had breast cancer and help us bring this new life-saving technology to this region. Thank you. Thank you so much.